we're back on the Victorian dump again. <laughs> Come on, get out of your hole. You're stuck in him. <laughs> this is the end of the show. It's got to be. It can't get no better than this. Hi folks, I'm in a hole. If I'm in a hole, then I'm usually in North Yorkshire on a bottle digger's paradise. You're on a Victorian dump where we've had so much fun before and I'm sure we're gonna have fun again today. Sometimes I look about and I see teapots. Today I look about and I see the bottom of a Victorian toilet and just to my left, two rich pottery jars. And as we always say, what's a mudlark or a bottle dump without ridge pottery? So today, plenty of ridge pottery and hopefully a fantastic lark. Let's get stuck in and see what we can find. And there we are, just as I said, two pots, no holes in the bottom and no chips. And it's ridge pottery. What is a mudlark without ridge pottery? Hello, everybody. Let's have a look what's on this little area here because I've been drawn to it by this, which is a really big chunk of plate or bowl. Is this part of it? No. But I can see another few pieces of this up here. Oh, so is that bit? I'm pretty sure that's the same thing. And there's that bit, complete with slag. Excuse me, it's the slag. Go away. So that goes there. And that goes there. Can we find any more? Let's have a look. Oh, there's another piece. There. So let's take that over and see if that fits. Yes, that fits there. Oh, we're still missing rather a lot of it. What's this? No, there's no colour on that. Oh, look! Oh, I like that. Is that a lion? Oh, no, it's a lady. It's a pair of ladies' legs and a gentleman's leg. And it says something on the front. And something was on the top there. Oh, what a shame they're broken. They're very nice, though. Oh, I'm going to take that and... See if I can come up with something to do with it. No idea what yet. I'm sure we'll think of something. Right, let's keep looking. What's that there? No, that's plain. And lots of interesting bits to look at, but none of our big bowl, and we want bits of our big bowl. 
Oh, you can see the bottle diggers have been here, digging in. They found lots of shells. Two broken bottles, wow. They, look at all those shells under there. I don't know if you can see them. Right, so if anybody stands on there, they're going to sink. So I'm not going to. Let's have a look around here. We've got the bottom of a foot warmer. Lots more shells. Oh, no more of our big, pretty bowl. Oh, there's a lovely bottle. Oh, it's got a hole in it. We won't pick that up. We'll save ourselves for some bottles that are not damaged in any way. Hmm. No, it doesn't look like there's going to be any more of that bowl. What a shame. World-famed blood mixture. Ooh. That was there. That goes there and that goes under there. Have we got all the bits? Possibly. I think we'll take that and see if we can join it up. We'll put that with our broken bowl. Where's our broken bowl gone? I've lost our broken bowl. Oh, I can see it. And we'll see if we can get Phil to assemble that. He does love building things back with his Gorilla Glue. All right, we leave that pile there. Remember where that pile is because we want to come back for it. Oh, look at this plate. The Ship Hotel in Skipton. I wonder if that's still there. I reckon it probably is. Mmm, here's a big spoil heap. And there are lots of interesting things here. And what's catching my eye is that blue. It's upside down, which makes me think the top is snapped. What do you think? Oh, look, it's whole, but it was a mug and the handle's gone. Oh, what a shame. That's still good for putting things in, though. I may keep that. It's a bit big. I'll keep it unless something even better decides to take its place. What's on this bit of ceramic shoe? Hmm. No, I don't know. I thought maybe it was a castle and we got the top of a bottle. Oh, now that would have been... I think it's probably a jug. There's a little handle for pouring, so perhaps an oil jug or a vinegar jug. A little bit of copper. And as we wander over here, there's another very pretty sheer top. Is there anything on it? Nope. But a gorgeous colour. And we'll walk on up over the hill. Oh, there's the bottom of something that would... Oh, wow. Can you imagine what that looked like when it was whole? Pretty spectacular. Oh, what a shame. And what we got here? A plain bottle. Oh, really nice. Oh, there's something in there. Oh. Another little bottle. That's a cute one. Another bottle. And a greenish bottle. Oh, well, I can't take those with me at the moment. They may go into my bag later. Let's keep looking. Mm. Oh, look. It's a, a fox. And there's his body. Oh, or is it a cat? Could be a cat. Oh, wow, there's some serious digging going on here. Ooh, that's a deep one. This is the spoil heap. There's quite a deep and long one and they've even built themselves a little canopy of green so they don't get wet in the rain. So let's have a look what they've thrown away that they decided wasn't worth taking home. We've got Eno's fruit salt. We haven't got one of those. ER Pride with the bottle stopper in the top. We've got. I always like to check. A bow real bottle. And look at that one. And that's a 16 ounce oxo. We haven't got one of those either. Ooh, we'll put that in the. I like those pile. We've got. Lung tonic. And uh, nothing on that one. There's a slug on that one. Burton's
and Cooper Limited. Oh, that's a nice one. What does it say? H. Willis. See the cork is a H. Willis Skipton. Oh, perhaps there's some sort of security thing that nobody was pretending to make the one you were buying. Oh, I like that one. That can go in our possibly taking home and nothing on that one. Another lung tonic. Another Selby Yorkshire Fletcher sauce. And one of those. What have you got, Mr. Johnson? I've got a swan's head. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that pretty? It I thought, is. I want to find use for that. I'm sure we'll think of something. But as I jumped down in this hole, mm. I saw something on the floor and it's right next to my foot. And I don't know if it's hole or not. Oh, is that a card bottle? It's a card bottle, but... Uh, wow! Uh, oh, no, here we go, here we go. Oh, the big reveal. Oh, oh it's broken. Oh, what a oh, shame. It's a shame. I thought I was in with a chance there. Uh, it did look good. It did it indeed. it doesn't anymore. What one is that? That's got lots of writing on. Anderson, is it? Fred Anderson. Yeah, Fred Anderson, that is. Oh, well, it's broken again. One ah, day, one so day. Yeah. So thing. near yet so far. Right, we're going to venture. I'm not going into the bottle digger's hole. It's a bit scary for me. I don't like going into anything overhanging, but I thought we could have a look what we been put out here. And this is a Scots & Co. Skipton. And this is a Scots Emulsion. And oh, there's the bottom of something with the slug on it. It's a bottle here, so we pull it out. Oh, snapped off on the top, but what a cute little bottle. Nothing written on it, but very cute. Oh, what about this one? Oh, I like the shape on that. Oh, there's a hole. And this one is a plain one, very like an apothecary bottle. And an aqua colour. Oh, is that a pipe bowl? I just saw a little bit of what I thought was a pipe stem up there. So I turned around. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't believe this. Can you see what I can see? Here is a pipe bowl. Now, I can't see what's on it. And I've got no way of cleaning it. But can you see the other one? There. <laughs> Two pipe bowls right next door to each other all right so now we're going to have a look at that bit of pipe stem as well oh i hope i can find it now ah there it is if it is pipe stem oh yes look at that oh i am so excited oh that is such an exciting find oh i'm gonna be happy all day now oh, perhaps tomorrow and the next day why not is that a piece of pipe stem Oh, look at that! Oh, wow! I just found a piece of pipe stem and quite a big piece, too. Oh, 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 look, it's an Eiffel Tower fruit juice bottle. Oh, I am so excited. Oh, I love these. And this is going home with me and going in my studio and I'm going to use it and I love it. Oh, I'm so pleased. I'm finding some really nice things over this area. Look at that bowl. Wow, it's only got a crack in it. Isn't that lovely? Ooh, that's a real treat to find. Now, I have to be honest with you, my dear. Yeah. I know you left a few bits for me to have a look at, see if I could put them together. Mm. This one I'm dubious of. Oh, right. <laughs> but I, I'm willing to try. Okay. Um, and But this, I think the pattern on this is so vibrant and in Oh, that's just incredible. I love it. Look at that in the circle there. Yep. Isn't that lovely? So that is definitely worth a go. So while you carry on looking here, my love, I'm going to take the folks over to the shed and see what I can do with this. Okie dokie. Well, here we are back in the shed, which is starting to look a little more like a museum, which suits me fine. I do like my clutter. and I love having all my stuff all around me. And of course, today I'm going to try and create another piece for display here in the shed. I'm going to be using these pieces that Caroline has just found. 
while I was running around to and fro, fetching cameras and searching the dump. And we have four substantial pieces that I hope to join. Beautiful pattern, lovely gold, as well as the rich blues and the gorgeous orange and reds. It's just a, a lovely piece. And although we know without any shadow of a doubt, this is not gonna make a whole bowl. I trust that what it does make will be beautiful and worthy of display. Now I'm undecided until I finished whether to make it simply an item that's displayed in its own right or whether it becomes a means by which to display another object. But the one thing I'm definitely going to do is I'm going to use this. Yes, this is a Kintsugi kit, which was a gift from Lexi B. And I've been waiting for the opportunity and the chance to get on and have a go at this. And that's what I'm going to do today. Now, I'm not going to go into great detail about the methodology that's involved in using the Kintsugi kit because I'd like to give a big shout out to Lexi herself as she was so kind as to get this for me because she has her channel and over on her channel there are various videos. She's done a video where she's actually made key rings using the vulcanized bottle stoppers as stamps and she's also made another video that takes the shards that we find when mudlarking and turn them into pendants. But the video that I would recommend everyone has a look at if you want to know more about this kit is the video that Lexi B has made over on her channel for this very kit. She made it five months ago. Now Lexi's got 93 subscribers when I checked and I would love to see her go way through into the three figures and then carry on with great success in the future. I'm sure if you go over and have a look at her video, it'll encourage her to make more videos as well because the video she's made does contain all the information about the kit, how to mix the items, what to do with them. And we're gonna put the details on this picture, I believe. I think Caroline may be able to edit it on you. If not, it'll be certainly in the links below in the comments. And that'll be to Lexi's Larks and Crafts. That's her channel on YouTube, folks. So please check it out and let's knock Lexi well through the 100 mark. So let's get on with what I'm going to do here today. Now, the important thing to say is there are instructions with this kit and they include safety instructions. So I just want to assure everyone that I have my goggles to protect my eyes. Inside the kit, there are a pair of gloves which will protect my hands because the resins we're gonna to use today are very good at sticking things together, including fingers. And they do provide some little pots which they say you can smash and then use uh, for practice, but you've gotta be joking. I ain't smashing that. I've got two of those and I'm sure if I don't find a use for them, Caroline will be able to use them in her art studio, mixing up her paints and other things. So with all the stuff I've got, having read the instructions, I'm about ready to have a go. And of course, the thing with this method of repair that comes from the Japanese culture is that they would use gold in order to highlight the, the repaired piece. So they weren't trying to hide the repair, they were actually glorifying the repair. They were declaring that there was value in this piece that meant it was worth bringing back. And even in its story and its brokenness, there was also value. So they would use gold and we have a gold powder that we can mix in to do that. And I suppose it is very much typified these days in the story of our mascot and friend Mankey and his rise to fame from the, the mud paths of the back of a dump up there in Yorkshire. Okay, gloves are on, goggles are on. The door is wide open and just there. So the ventilation, I assure you, it's quite chilly in here. It's well ventilated. So all of the safety regulations have been followed and we're ready to go.
first thing to say is, for the pieces I was using, for the porous material, and the weight that was pulling down on the shape of the bowl, and it being incomplete, so not able to hold itself together, the 30 seconds to a minute that was suggested for the setting time was not long enough for what I was doing. But it certainly done the job. And of course, you don't clean off the excess when you do this. The excess is part of the celebration of the crack, the break, the repair. So you just leave it there as if it were gold. Um, obviously, the other thing you have to take into account when mixing this up is that the gold powder that you put in does have an impact on the chemical reaction between the two, uh, the resin and the hardener. So that again, the quantity of gold you use will have an impact on its drying time. But it's together, it is repaired, it is not restored, it is not whole, it is no longer a bowl, it is now something quite different. But what do I do with it? I do like my charity shops, as does Caroline. And this is an item I picked up at the charity shop. Let me show you. A glass, a pressed glass bowl. I just couldn't leave it there. You know, no secrets, folk. There's the price tag still on it. They wanted five pounds. And to me, that was definitely worth five pounds of my money. And I decided I'm taking that home. Recently um, been noticing this form. You may recognize it from, the, it's similar to the handle on that gorgeous teapot that I was showing in last week's video. And here we have two of those sea serpents formed in glass to make the handles on this gorgeous grand piece of glass. So I thought, this is probably someone's pride and joy at some time. It's now in a thrift store, charity store, depending on what part of the world you're from. And I thought it would look lovely with glass in. Now, let me just show you what I mean as I add some glass. And then when the bowl is full of beautiful colored glass, I wondered, should I then display this, not just on its own, but stood on my new repaired piece and use that as a display for the bowl. So now the question is, with this beautiful, beautiful piece of glass, if I fill it with glass, as I've began to do here, would it now add to this and to the piece I've created by putting them together. What do you think? Well, what do you think? Would you use it to display something else or let it be a display all on its own? I tell you what, I love my glass, I love my new ornament from those four pieces Caroline found on the dump. And whatever I decide to do, I am extremely pleased with the way that this has come out. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing me putting it together. Don't forget to check out Lexi's channel. Big thank you to Lexi for the gift that made this possible. But now we really should get back to the dump because as is often said, but today is true, the best is yet to come. What are you putting here? Oh, you I, found bits of doll's face. It looks like, yeah. Oh, Can't find anything, this? I don't think it's defining. But yes, there's a mouth and nose and eyes. That's the neck. And that's the back of the head. In all honesty, I got in here for the teapot. Oh, that's a pretty teapot. Look at that. Mmm. You impressed? Oh, look, it even had a hinged lid on that. Oh, yeah. that's definitely a bit of posh. Oh, ooh, look so. at that one. Definitely. You're going potty. I'm going potty and I'll definitely need a shelf for all these pots. But I've got other things. What else have you got? Oh, pipe bowl. Oh, lovely. Is any, I can't see anything on it, but no, it's very I, nice. And Anna. a piece of pipe set Whoa, both that's a chunky within piece. two feet of each other. Excellent. And mm -hmm. probably 
the poshest tablespoons bottle I've ever seen in oh, my right. life. Oh, right, let's have a look. Oh, shame it's broken, but oh, yes, look at that. Tablespoons, we haven't seen nothing. Look at the front. The name of the company and the Victoria bottle glass made in France. Oh, that's lovely. Whoever was having their teaspoons out of there was paying big bucks for them. Nice. So there we are. I've just got to try and fit them teapots in my bag. Have I found another piece of pipe stem? Oh yes, I have. Yes, I have. Look. Oh, I'm enjoying this so much. Oh, look at that tiny little bottle too. Oh, it's a shame it's a bit cracked. It's tiny and the top of it is quite whole. Here's a little crack. I've now reached the point hmm. where I'm carrying teapots by their handles because oh, there's... Oh, look, you just emptied that one all over your legs. Yeah, because there's no room left in the bag. But I still pick things up because that, I know we keep picking up the Bovril ones, but those are as rare as hen's teeth to us in Wales. They are oxo. It's an oxo bottle. So that one, I'll put it in my pocket. There's a lid. Now, you, oh, when you're we'll picking up both. teapots at this rate, you mm. need the lids. So I'll do a mix and match with that. And it's a shame it's broken, but look at that for the cutest little teapot. Oh, isn't that sweet? Some little child played with that many, many years ago. Lovely. I can never thank Tom enough for bringing us here. I can never thank the bottle diggers enough for digging their holes and leaving so much wonderful things for us to find. But I do wish somebody would make this place closer to the road because although you can hear a lot of road noise from a major road it's a long way from parked car let's go find some more i thought this was a piece of tile it's got all scribbling on it so that's a bit strange when i picked it up and turned it over look it's actually a sign and it's all so i don't know if it's something like all sops or something like that or whether it says something like all oh, our beer is the best what a shame the rest of it isn't here, but how interesting is that? Hello everyone. Hello Mr. Johnson. I think I may have found a plinth. A plinth? Oh, plinth man! You found a plinth ready made. I think so. Look at this. Oh, now that is a perfect, well it's not a perfect plinth, but it's an ideal no, plinth. I think it could be just mm. modernised slightly, a bit of yep. Dremel work on it. And that could make Very a lovely nice. plinth for something to be displayed in the shed. I think that will do the job. Of course, um, I've got the reputation for being a bit of a brick man, a bit of a plinth man, and a few other things in between. But there's a lady I always seem to talk about when I'm up here, and that's Lady Anne Clifford. But the reason I keep talking about her is because she was an impressive character. For a lady who had no children, and therefore the line ended with her way back in the 1600s, everyone's still talking about her today. But that's because of the things she did and the very personality that she had. She was one feisty lady and she certainly put a mark on this area of North Yorkshire. And we've shown you before Skipton Castle, which was her home, which she renovated. But I'd like to show you somewhere else. This now is derelict, but that's the lady who back in her day brought it back to its grandeur. So we're just going to pop you over now and show you Barden Tower, which the history goes back 900 years. The family history for Anne's family goes back 600 years. But she made her mark back in the 1600s, just as she did with the castle and has a plaque there. This lady has a plaque on the tower too.
this is Baden Tower. Now that may seem a strange name for a house, but it's based on the fact of its height. It is a house. It wasn't built as a defensive location. This was built as a luxury residence. And that conversion of the hunting lodge, which dates back to about the 12th century, was done in the 15th century by the 10th Lord Clifford. And his name was, his name was Henry. Now, he loved it here. He came up here to the hunting lodge and he preferred it to his seat of power down at Skipton Castle. It's all right living in a castle, but here he had the views and the hunting and everything he wanted. So what does he do? He turns it into a house. And what a house. The climbing walls even today show the majesty of this place, even though it is a ruin. And there are plenty of notices warning us not to step inside because the owners of this building take no responsibility for the stability of its walls or the safety of any visitor that dares to go in. So we're not going to be silly, but we did want to share it with you. And of course, what I also wanted to share was that link with the last of the Clifford family, Lady Anne. There's a plaque here that testifies to how she renovated this place 1658-59. That's about the time that she planted her yew tree over at Skipton Castle to mark the restoration of the castle. This lady was a real tour de force when it came to rebuilding the heritage of her family even though she had no lineage to pass it on to. An amazing woman in her time with a very long title because the plaque that is here, actually half of it taken up by simply a title, which goes on and on. But it also bears reference to the fact that this fell into ruin just after her mother was here, heavily pregnant with her child, who was Lady Anne. So as part of a restoration program, she restored the building in which her mother had come when expecting her back in the late 1500s. This lady had a real drive for that restoration work and she was doing it not only to restore the heritage, but it was also a statement because as a royalist who had fought and inspired her people through a three year siege down at the castle, she saw, I believe, setting these buildings back to right as a statement that even though the parliamentary army were victors and did ultimately overpower the castle after three years, she was not defeated. An interesting story from an interesting time. Well, we'd better get back down now and continue searching for our treasures there on the dump. Ah, oh, Mr Johnson, you're down our hole. We went down there, but I wasn't brave enough to go in too far. What have you found down there? Oh, all right. I, I didn't go I in think, that far. I You're mad. I, I think I keep them right. just because they were in the hole and they are ever so cool. Let's see if I can get the water out of this one. Oh, I can. Oh, that's a nice one. Well, and oh, another one. Both sheer tops and in very good condition. With a nice bit of colour to them too. Anything else in there? Not that I can see on the surface. Well, there's a couple just by your feet. Oh, we've already uh, seen those. those we've seen there. everything in this hole, you've but seen we haven't seen everything been what's in under the back. there because we were too scared. Well, I was too scared anyway. Ooh, look at that. I don't know what it says. Poultry and game. Yeah, we keep talking about the tiger sauce. Mmm, it's in a bit of a bad way, that. But very nice. If you want to. Oh, thank you very much. If you want to. Let's have a look up on this little tump. I'm out of puff because we've just walked quite a way to find this. And there's a pretty blue jug. And a little bottle with the cork still in the end. Let's go for a wander. See if there's anything else exciting. Ooh, look at it all. There's lots of excitement too. That's very pretty. Shame it's in such a bad way. Lots of Japanese things I'm finding. Let's have a look. Oh, I like that ball. Look at the shape on that. That is lovely. I'll pop some music on and you can have a little look, see the sort of things that we can see here. It's so exciting.
Hey, I got you. I got you. You're not going away. I got you. Come back on the solid ground. Oh. Okay? You alright? Yep. Keep over there. That just goes down and down. Labels. That's what we're finding here. There's a oh, label there, yes. look. Can't not, see much of the not detail. Very readable, but, but there's something label. just there. Is that preserve? It looks like, yes. Crown um, preserve. Just there. Mm -hmm. Then this one. Now we often find these kind of pots and wonder what was in them. That seems to say summer fruit. Oh yes. Summer fruit jam, do you think? Possibly, yeah. Now on a smaller scale, which I'm glad of today because we're carrying so much. <gasps> Look at that. Oh wow. Isn't that a boot? That is lovely. That comes as I'm forever finding the best find of the day. Oh you are? What is well, it that? Maybe the best one of the best finds, one of the great finds of today is a gift. This is a gift of Mr. Tom Burley and he's given it to us because he knows that we collect the paste pots. Just look at that lovely paste pot and then oh. turn it around and see what's on the other side. <gasps> it's got the label Still on it! Still got the wow. label on it. Oh, that's lovely. Thank so you, there Tom. We are. Big thank you to Tom, a very, very, very nice man. He is. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's a shame the little spout piece is missing, but isn't that lovely? It's so cute. What else is you? Oh, there are so many of these apothecary type bottles with the cork still in the end. I can't take them all, but I'd love to. And what's this here? Oh, it's a lid. But it's not a teapot lid, it's off a jar or a tub, I think. Okay, folks, I've got the camera a moment because I just wanted to show you these. Lovely set here, that lovely one with a partial label. This one here. Again with a partial label and a stopper in the top. And this one, that is amazing. That's beautiful. It's got a lovely iridescence to it, but it's got a, a genuine amber colour to it. Can you see in there? The tablets are still in the bottle. A bottle of tablets, cork in the top, and the contents are still in there. Now that has got to go down as the weirdest find today even if it's not the most wonderful that is something different as we wander along here i can see ahead of me there we go look at this what's that on there natur is it natur or natur natur there we go look at the shape on that, that gorgeous gorgeous shape most unusual rounded top obviously but square bottom but then the faceted sides the pyramid and then so look across oh there's a child's shoe carly would like that wouldn't she it's one of carly's favorite items a child's shoe very nice indeed and then should we just scan along can you see anything else folks shout if you do oh what's there right in the center of our screen it's an inkwell yes that's an inkwell folks it's not an ink pot it's not a bottle that's come from the shop that's an inkwell and that's a lovely little thing ho 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 it's like christmas for those who like this sort of thing what have we got over here let's have a look Ooh, just over the horizon there oh i can see now there's a bit of a ding in that what a shame, what a shame that is, lovely bit of pot there, this is such an amazing thing, another ink, there we go, an ink jar there, and what else have we got, oh there's just so much, Horton Direct Family Supply. Horton Direct Family Supply, complete with not vulcanized stopper, but a wooden stopper. How neat is that? And how heavy is my bag going to be today? Now here's a little treasure. Look at that, folks. A little mug with goosey goosey on it. And isn't that a beautiful little image as Caroline would say oh another find of the day
Don't tell her I said that. I Although, oh dear, she heard me. I think she would have spotted it in the edit anyway. But it is a beautiful piece, isn't it? For a big crack down here, the handle's off and it's full of mud. Guess what? I don't care how I do it, that's coming home with me. Anyone fancy some raspberry jam on their toes? There it is, folks. I don't know what the jam is like, but the label's looking good. Now, for the regulars, you will have heard us numerous times tell of tiger sauce. There we have the bottle. Fletcher, as it says on that side. And what does it say on this side? Oh, I can't quite read it. It says Selby. Fletcher's of Selby. But here's the boot. There's the label, folks. There it is. Tiger sauce with the label on. Oh my gosh. Somehow that's got to fit in the bag because that's coming home with me. Yet another find of the day. I think we'll call this video the find of the day video. But of course, we'll have to see what else we find before we decide the absolute find of the day. I've got this bag here. We have, our bags are full. It was the only bag I could find. If you hold it like that, I've got some blue glass, I've got some copper, I've got some beautiful little bottles with corks in, and I've got a load of old newspapers and books. All wet and monkey, but I'm going to sort them oh, out. You can see the newspaper as well from the back, Ella. Yeah, look at that. That's going to be such fun to play with. So, I've been busy too. Yes, and we are impressed. Are you in a hole? I'm in a hole. But I'm in a happy hole. Why is that? See my hole? Yes, it's... Um, Hello, everybody. I'm in a hole. Very deep. In a very happy hole. First of all, I will show you my bit of tile. Oh, that's nice. And then I'm going to make hmm. Mr. Adam Gates, the anchor man, very jealous. And oh, look, it's a Wright Brothers Skipton bottle with an anchor and a stopper with the anchor on the top too. Now, there's a little story to this. I sent Adam a little award recently because he is such a trooper. He's always first in on the live show, nine o'clock on a Saturday always. night. Mainly always. Mainly always. He's usually <laughs> there by five, but he don't start till nine UK time. He's also really good at the quiz, a bright lad. So I sent him a little trophy and I decided to give him my bottle from this dump last time, which was chopped off at the neck. Now it just goes to show folks, be generous because if you give things away, Ooh, karma brings them back with stoppers on. Very nice. But that's not all. Oh, what else have we got? That's not all. Folks, this is the end of the show. It's got to be. It can't get no better than this. Oh, a cod bottle with a marble. I've got a oh, cod wow. bottle with a marble. Sharp and co. Keithley with a marble. Look at that. It's yes. got a few chips, but... Yep, that's that, not a problem. No, it's not at all. Marble. It's, it's not definitely a problem. in there. Yeah, it's definitely in there. Now, I was so grateful to Sarah of Master Medlarks when we were with them on a Victorian dump because she gave me one she found. But today I picked this up myself. Well done. So here it is, folks. My first find of a cod bottle with a marble in. I'm chuffed. Hope you've enjoyed being with us. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. Doing, doing, doing. And if you want to share the love with everyone else and the joy of finding a card bottle with a marble in, please share it with all your friends. But most importantly, just like I'm going to, until the next time, have fun. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Come on, get out of your hole. You're stuck in him. <laughs> Right. He's, a, he's a four foot six all and I'm a six foot tall man, which means I'm 18 inches above ground level. This is going to be fun, folks. Here we go. Empty my pockets before I lose things. I'm going to have to jump and roll, I think. Ah! Well, we will hang around and watch you. <laughs> I got one <laughs> leg out. Oh, well, that's all you need another one. One arm out. Here we go. If ever you're stuck in a hole, folks, this is how to get out. Or not. Ah. <laughs> well done. Oh, a very flattering view there. <laughs> Ta-da!